Training and Pilates. It's Wednesday. It's our favorite workout day because we get to do everything. So let's put our gloves on and then we'll get our warm up. I'll, I'll do that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Two right hands. I'm missing something. You might have to just take them off for now. Where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Wait a minute. A different pair. Sorry, gang. I'll get you started in a second. And have two right hands. How did that happen? One might be inside out. All right, sorry. Here we go. A minute late here. Wait, did it again. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, fingers are punched. Da, 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 da. Uh, inside out. Okay, so let's get started. Let's breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up and down. Last time up and down, and we push across, keep going. You've got it, four more, four and three and two and one across the chest, you've got it. Let's go, head over tailbone. Last two, and we take it up for four, one and two and three. You're pushing to the opposite wall, you're opening your back. And up for two, take it one and two across, one and two again, one and two and one and two, hands on the hips. Spin point, you got it, perfect. Four and three and two and one. And we're alternating shoulder rolls. Good, these are medium size. They don't go all the way up to the ear, but they're not those little ones, right? Take it out nice and wide. Plie down, reach to the opposite wall. I want you to really feel that pull out of that hip, the pull out of the rib cage, the pull out of the straightest interior and just hold it right here. For four and three and two and one hand is down. Take it across, keep your head over your tailbone as you go across and bring it out to the side for four and three and two and one. Other side, take it down and across, a down and across, down and across. Last time, it's up and over, pull the belly button to the spine, reach it out, reach it out, reach it out. Lower the arm, take the ear and guide it across. Make sure that you're back into line. Nice, come back to the center and you lunge, feet are forward. Nice, even though they're open wide, you keep them forward. Four and three and two and sit behind it on one, toe is up on the other side, push through to the glute. Beautiful job. Turn and push back. Make sure you feel that long line from your head to your tailbone, push through your heel, lift through your knee, make sure your other, the standing knee is over the ankle. Slide it in, feet are both facing forward, nose to knee. And come back on your heel. Push through, come around into sumo squat right here. Roll it around, look over your opposite shoulder and then switch and doubles to the center. Take a one and two, one and two. We're gonna work a lot from this area and now take it up and over, take it up and over, up and over, up and over. And it's out and out top of the one, four, three, two, and one. Make sure those feet are forward, slide over to the other side. Make sure your knees over your ankle, pull up that foot on the other side, push through the glute, and then take it to that lunge. All right, you know, where, you know where your lunge capacity is. I know where mine is. It's probably very different on this side. And slide it in, nose to knee. Both feet are facing the same direction. Beautiful. Come back on your heel, bending your back knee. Beautiful job. Pivot to the front. Take one hand over to the opposite ankle bone and bring your chest down to the thigh. Flat hands to the center, wag your tail over to the other side and back to the center, stopping your knees, shrugging right and left as we come up. Good. And now roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward. Soften your knees and reach behind for a lift to put your hands on your hips to open up your chest. Nice. And I'm gonna open your hips a little bit. We don't usually do this in body sculpting, but because we're gonna be using them in the kettlebell where we're gonna push and push rib cage, hips to rib cage. Good, four more, four, pull the belly in, three, good, two, and one, and then we circle. Eight in one direction, three, four, pull it in, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Breathe it up three times. Let's fuel that workout. Well, come on. Last time. Congratulations. Oh, okay, grab your kettlebell. Now, remember the protocol of kettlebell. You take your feet to shoulder width apart, slightly turned out. Not all the way turned out like a plie, slightly turned out. The Russian swing is a straight leg swing. You take it from between your thighs to your chest, right? But for a lot of people, they feel like that affects their lower back and they feel more comfortable to bend. So one of the things you want to do is not arch. So you want to keep it strong and long. So we're going to do 30 of these. Two, three, four. So we're going to get our heart rate going. Six, seven, upper and lower body action. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Now you can be holding a dumbbell. Seven. By the dumbbell head or two dumbbells. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And a one. All right. We turn to one side. Bend the knee. <clears throat> Take the, the shoe. The heel so far back, or the foot so far back, you can't get the heel down. Down and one. Get your head over your tailbone. Two, three, good job. Four, five, let's go low. Six, seven, good job. Eight, nine, and we're gonna pulse at 30. 10, 20 more. One, two, good job. Three, Four, five, nice. Six, keep holding on to that weight. Seven, you're going to use it later. Eight, you probably have this figured out. Nine, and 20. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Six, seven, eight, head over tailbone. Nine, let's pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Then come on over. We're going to row. Take the weight or the kettlebell down by your foot, row past your waist. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Two, you're holding by the bell horns. Three, which is the handle. Four, if you're using a kettlebell. If not, just use the stem of your dumbbells. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, and we're gonna have a pulse here. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, twenty. Let's do it. Make sure you push past that waist. Three. Here we go. Four. You push past. Five. Yeah. Full belly buttons of the spine. Six, seven, eight. You want to get the back more than the shoulders. Nine. Let's go. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back to the swing. So shoulder width apart, slightly turned out. 30, let's go. 1, right to the chest. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Now let's go to the other side. Okay, here we go. Down and one. 
down and two, keep going. Three, four, we know this is my delicate side, five, good, injured side, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, 10, 20 more, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight, good, nine, 10 more, let's go, one and two, nice pause at the bottom, right? Three, when you get everything into its muscle, four, it's right where your muscle is, five, you're holding it here and you're holding it there, six, seven, eight, nice, nine, let's go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going into that row, and I can't pull, push onto my knees, so I'm going to use my block. Row and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, squeeze it, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, let's go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, one more 10, 1, 2, three, four, squeeze it up there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30, pulse at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it up, Go back to your position, but first we're going to do halo. So you're holding the dumbbell by the dumbbell heads or the kettlebell by the bell and your fingers are wrapped around the horns. You're going 10 in one direction. So you have five more. Five, moving only the upper body. Four, three, two, and one. And reverse. One, two, come on. Three, this is such a good workout. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're back in kettlebell position. Now we're going to swing from one side to the other. You switch in the middle. One, two, nice. Three, you got it. Four, five. Perfect. Six. Seven. So this is the lunging to the side. We have a different alternating one that we'll do later. Eight. Nine. Ten more. No, 20 more. One. Stay centered. Two. We're not going deep, right? Three. It's just a press. Four, this is also great for the shoulders. Lift up to the chest, five. Don't let it just be too low, six. Good. Seven, this is gonna take your heart rate up. So normally this is a hit class, eight. But I'm showing all I healed, nine. I can't lead you in that. And 10 more, now, let's go. One, good job. Two. Three, four, good. Don't go deep in those knees. Five, you want to keep it at a semi. Six, demi. Seven, good. Eight, don't get yourself. Nine, you won't do that. And ten, both sides. Okay, back to the lunges. Down for three, up for one. One, two, three, one. Only 20. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. We've got 10 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 20. Come over for that row. Let's go. Up for three, down for one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. You can hold on the stem of the dumbbell. Three, two, three, four. Nice heavy one, right? Two, three, five. Because your back is a global. One, two, three, six. It's supported by your pecs. Seven. And your hips. Eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, twenty. Back to the center. Make sure you're in kettlebell well position. All right, take it out. M1, good. Out, up to your chest. Two, it's easy to do it too low. And three, you want to get the tops of those shoulders. And four, lift, good. Five, exhale up, inhale down. Six, good. Seven, eight, good. You got it. Nine, perfect. Ten. One, good. Two, perfect. Three, you got it. Four, five, six. Come on, breathe it. Seven, come on, you can go faster if you want to. Eight, but I want you to really get form here because we're working this hard. Nine. We always are. Last 10 coming up. One. Good. Two. I hope it's nice and heavy, whatever you're lifting. Three, because you get momentum to help you. Four. So you get a little bit of swing. Five. Six. Relax your neck over your head or your head over your tailbone. Seven, or you're going to hurt your neck. Right? Eight, good, nine, you're perfect, and 30, both sides, let's go, okay, down for three, up for one, let's go, one, two, three, one, only 20, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, I had the weight in the wrong hand, should be the hand of the leg that's back. Seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten four. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, one. All right, come on over for that row. Let's go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. No twist. One, two, three, slow down. Four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, twenty. Transition right here. Here we go. Around again for ten. Two, three, four. You can feel those obliques. You feel everything releasing. Six, seven. Again, this is where you don't want to push your head forward. Eight. You want to kind of say, I got to make room for the weight. And reverse. One, <clears throat> two, but you can reach far enough. Three, just reach back. Four, that'll give you some nice tricep work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, our last swing pattern. It's through the center and switch. One, and two. So instead of the outside. And three, and four. And five, good. And six, good job. Seven, eight, nine. We usually do this for a minute. 10, I don't know how long this takes. For 31, good. Two, just trade it over. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, very careful. Nine, releasing. Ten more. Yeah. One, two, three. This is about a minute. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and 30, both sides of the cup. Now keep it there. Bring the legs together. Take one leg back on your toe. Put your weight to the front, all right? You can be holding your dumbbell head by her dumbbell by its stem. Down and one, so deadlifts. Two, this is 30. Three, nice, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. Let's go. Make sure you hold it down there so you have to force the hamstring to bring you up. Two, a lot of hamstring today. Three, we got to make the powerful, the legs as powerful and the back as the front. Four. Five, every time we come up, head to the ceiling, head over tailbone, shoulder blades down. Six, seven, remember what side you're on. Eight, nine, 10 more, let's go. 10, perfect. Nine, eight, and I'm gonna ask you to stay down there. Seven, good, six, Five, one, go to the side so you can see. Four, way up. Three, good job. Two, and hold it down here on one. Now, I want you to get more of the bell in your hand and you lift and one. Lift and two. Lift and three. Four. Now, if you need to go lighter on a weight, five, just go grab one. Six, because I know a lot of you are using heavy kettlebells. Seven, eight, nine, 20 more. One, two, this is rear deltoid. Three, I went back to the handles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, this is hard. Nine, this is twice the weight, 20 that I usually use on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good job, nine, and 30. All right, bring it back up. 
Take it back to swing position. Switching through the middle. Good. One. You should be getting hurt right now. Two. Good job. Three. I'm at 152. Four. Five. Six. Seven. A little different from yesterday's workout, right? Eight. Good. Yesterday was held grace and alignment. Nine and balance. And today it's power. Ten. Twenty more. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. You got it. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Got it. Nine. And 20. Ten more. Let's go. One, two, three, nice, four, five, six, seven, nice, eight, nine, and three, both sides. All right, you're here. Take that leg back. Good. Down, remember weight to the front. Down and two. The body weight's in the middle. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, and 20 more, good, one, you got it, two, pull the belly in, three, Good, and if your back is hurting, let go of the weight. Four, five, don't go so low or don't stop so high. Six, try to figure out where you're arching. Seven, eight, nine, and hold it down there on 30, making it out to deltoid lift. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, twenty more, one, two, don't let it cross the foot, three, don't let the shoulder go the other way, four, right, just to the foot, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, let's go, ten, Nine, eight, seven, good, six, the last five, and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, back to, I'm going to bring this down for the next part. Back to your kettlebell. Oh, no, we have our transition, so hold it here. It's the waist. One, two, it's funny, three, four. Five, get low in your knees. Six, seven, eight, nine, good. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Our last set at the top. So we'll have two more swings. And we'll have two more sets, one on each side. So from the middle, one, two, three, four, five. Get that breath in there. Six. You want to really burn it up. Seven. Get that metabolism going for the day. Eight. Good. 
nine, ten, twenty more. One, this is the only thing we don't cut the numbers down on. Two, good. Three, four, good. Five, six, seven, keep pumping energy into that back. Eight, to the chest. Nine, not above it. And last 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. Take it over, take that foot behind, get on your toe. When we go down, we're gonna lift the back leg and then we're gonna to return to this lifted position. You don't have to point or flex the foot, just a matter of getting the balance. Inhale and exhale, down and one. Try not to catch yourself, two, like I just did. Down and three, you can use the support. Down and four, down. And five, down and six, down and seven, down and eight, down and nine, and we go down and one, down and two, breathe into it, down and three, down, feel that strength on the front leg, four, five, kind of like th warrior three. Six, if you have the kettlebell, seven, eight, nine, and 20. All right, I'm going to go to this other way. You can keep your bell down for three after one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Pulse, 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 three. Pulse, 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 four. Exhale, inhale, five. Exhale, inhale, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, one. All right. Last. And go lift. Remember, it's right through the center. Let's go. One, let's go to the 30. And two. And three. Now, if you don't want to do the kettlebell, four. The turning your back, you do want to get some cardio. So come in the middle and just do your little jumps. Five, little jump ropes, six, or anything else you do. They get seven, that gets your heart rate up. Eight, good, nine, and 20 more. Good job. One, and two, and three. Good job. Four, and five, six, nice, seven, and eight, and nine, and 20, and more, let's go. One, good, two, three, four, feels so good. Five, six, six, seven, keep going. Eight, my knee is just starting to talk. Nine and 30, okay. All right, this might not work for me because I'll have to rely on my injured leg, but we'll see how it goes. Wait to the front, you got 20. Down and one, down and two, actually feels good. Down and three, 
four. I think I would find out before class five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm so dedicated to balance 10 more that I try to put it into all of our workouts, not just centering and strengthening. Nine, eight, seven, it really does feel strong. Six, I guess because all the parts are supporting each other. Five, four, stop, three, two, and one. Okay, get ready for that. Bell toy lift up for three, down for one. Get my block. All right. Right here by the ankle. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Pull the belly in four. Exhale up, inhale five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, twenty. Come on up. Last bit with the waist. One, get low in your knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. The twisting is hurting my knee. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep your head over your tailbone. Seven, belly button to spine. Eight. Nine and 20. All right, we're going down really quickly for a little bit of abs in case you're not sticking around for Pilates, which is silly, but I understand you have a life, jobs, all that kind of stuff. But bring your kettle down, sit down to the mat. We're going to sit at the end of your mat and come down just like you could down for Pilates. I have to come down funny to the mat because of my injuries. Grab this first. Get your hands around the bell. If you are using dumbbells, put your hands around the dumbbells. Curl yourself down. Separate your glutes. Wiggle your a chest away from your hips. So one belly button to spine. So you're going to inhale into a curl up. Exhale into a lift. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, like 10. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and four. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and five. So you should be doing this. Exhale, inhale, and six with your heaviest weight. Inhale, exhale, you're using both hands. Inhale, and seven. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and eight. And we're gonna stay up there on ten. Good. <clears throat> and last one. We're here. I'm gonna go side to side. Only for ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Here we go. We're going into our stretch. I hope. You feel a little out of breath and a little worked out. Come on down. And I want to remind you that I recorded a stretch on Monday if you weren't here. So um, you might want to check it out. So flex one foot, bring the other foot over top and flex it. I can't really pull my leg toward my face, but this will stretch your hamstrings. Watch. Put your hands at your side and lift up. You can feel. To pull from the hip and hold it right there. Now point it and bring it down. We're going to do two more of those. Flex and take it up <clears throat> and bring it down. There we go. We're getting the hips too, right? Flex and bring it up. If it hurts your back, 
point it and bring it down. Bend one knee and just do one leg at a time. That would be like this, like sit down point, right? All right, take a nice deep breath. Go to the other side, flexing the foot. Flex, bring it up, point it, bring it down. Flex, bring it up, point it, bring it down. Flex, bring it up, point it and bring it down with those legs. Open and bring yourself up into a bridge, it's called bridge. Take a nice deep breath. And again, and bring your hands to cactus. We did shoulders and we did back. So we're squeezing all that together. And keep your hands where they are. Lower your glutes, make your legs wider, and we're gonna do 90 to 90. It's 90 degree bend to 90 degree bend. So this is good for your hips. All that stuff you were swinging with. Yeah. I love kettlebells so much. And we didn't even really do like the uh, snatch and presses or Russian or the half Russian lift or anything like that. We did pretty easy stuff because we're taking care of my body. Thank you. Good. Four more. Four. Good. Three. Nice. Two. And one. We're going to keep them here to the back. Now you're going to open your back, the opposite arm, the one where your knees are, you take it around and you bring it back out. That's for those exercises we did and for the swinging. Now, if this hurts your um, shoulder at all, just bring it down and swing around and back. Now bring the knees to the front, take it around and up. You should turn a little bit around, come over to one shoulder blade and around. And right here, now push yourself over to the side and open into your straddle. Straddle always helps our hands to do get in a nice big um, flex. You are on your sit bones. If you're not, you can bend your knees to get there. You want to get those legs flexed. You want your head over your tailbone, drop your ear to one side, and breathe. Put those arms down. Make sure it's aligned. Drop it to the center and bring it up. Side. Roll your shoulders back. Three times. Let so much shoulder action going on. And then forward. Put your belly button in. Back the hands to back. Getting a little more of the hamstring because that was our issue today. We're going to first do a fold. So you put your hands behind your thighs and then you bring it over, lift into Superman like you're flying through the sky. And sweep the arms in front and reach. Take your body just a little bit further. Breathe into it. Take the arms back to flying through the sky. And then take your arms forward. You can get a little more um, extension. And then open up to the back and last time. Ooh, nice. Nice way to get us down. Hands crawl back into position. Palm um, to tabletop. We did our back. Inhale, bottom and chin up. With our row, exhale, curl up the cap. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. Curl up like a cat. Bottom and chin up. Curl up like a cat, come to neutral, tighten those legs in circle. This time we usually do it wide, but today we're doing it together to expand those hips as much as we can. Last two and last one, reverse. And open the knees, but keep the feet together and come back into child pose. This fold is a little hard on my hips, so I'm not going all the way back, but you guys can go over. Parallel those feet, put your hands under your shoulders, take it up into downward facing dog. Breathe into it, come on. 
I know I can do movement here, but I just really want you to get all of this open because this is what we use. This is that set of muscles. And then walk it in. And curl it. You did a remarkable job. I know you did. Or x ray vision. Soften those knees and watch you. Get your breath. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to Body Sculpt.